Morning everybody. Hope you're all, all well. Uh, what a glorious and beautiful morning. You can see the blue sky here behind me. Now it's it's very cold here in, in Oak Derard, just on the borders of Connemara. Uh, some of you know this place well and to my guests that have stayed on the bus, well, you know it anyway. But uh, I thought what I'd do this morning was the sea always draws me. I was telling you about the sea and uh, such a beautiful morning. I have so much to do here on the bus, but I thought why not head over to, to my favorite spot over to Spittle and uh, go and have a swim. So follow me over and, and uh, uh, as we go over, I, I, I'll stop and just show you a few different little aspects of, of, of the, the trip from here over to Spittle and across the mountain from my Colin down into Spittle village and then out up towards the the beach so we, we'll, we'll, we'll head on down to the car and uh, hit the road as they say so guys as we travel along heading down on the main road now into Uthgerard and we have the, the lake on our left hand side as you know by now this is this is Loch Carob and heading on in the road Heading into the little village of, of Uchtarard. This road is the N59, so to our right, out to Clifton and down to the, the town, we head, well, we'd be heading straight into Galway, uh, but the village we'll be coming to will be My Cullen, and we'll be turning right in My Cullen and up over the hill and down into the little village of Hospital. So we're just there. Uh, Coming into the village of Moy Cullen, where we'll be turning right. And as I said, turning right here in the village, up the hill, and heading in the direction of the village of Spiddle on the Connemara coast. And of course, this is the, the landscape on this road. And then we get our first view of the of the sea. Uh, we're right on the top of the, the hill now. Back to the left into Galway Bay. Let me stop and I'll, I'll show you that. You can certainly definitely feel the cold up here at these heights. Uh, I had to put the jacket on, put the hat on. It's still pretty beautiful though. Let me let me get this drawn up in the air and give you a look at what I'm looking at. So that's the road to Spittle with the bog either side and out to the Atlantic and out to the Iron Islands. So you've got Inishmore being the biggest one and then there's Inishman and Inishir which is a little, a little the smallest of the islands, beautiful island though. And more of the, the bog running the whole way out to the wild Atlantic Ocean as I call it. Absolutely beautiful spot. So guys from this viewpoint here the Aran Islands are just out here, just off the coast. You get the ferry from Rossaville. Uh, let me just try and see, can I zoom in there and let you see the islands. So you have Inishir, Inishmore being the biggest island, and Inishman. Anyway, let's head on down to the, the Spittle and down out to the beach. Oh, that's the sign for Spittle, on Spidal. So that's the, the Irish. We're heading on down the road now, into the village, and out to the out to the beach. And just turning right now in the little village of Spittle. A small little village, a couple of shops and a few little pubs and things. We're heading out the road. And there's a great landmark here, just to my right in the field. I don't know whether you can see it or not. It's a great big stone just past that stone we're coming to the turn and brings us down to this little beautiful beach and there's a farmer going down in front of us
What a beautiful morning here in Spittle and at the sea. And this is a, it's, as I said, a lovely little beach. Um, just at the entrance really to, to Galway Bay. Galway Bay be back to the left there. And plenty of nice sand and seaweed. Of course it's brilliant for you September, October into November. And seaweed releases a lot of iodine and, and uh, minerals into the water. It's a very good time to be to be in the sea. Anyway, here here I come. I'm gonna head in shortly. beautiful day but I know that it's gonna be cold in there you have to make your way along all these rocks the tide is very far out you can see back where the beach is anyway guys we're here uh, we're gonna take the plunge <laughs> and, uh, uh, beginning in November said I was going to try and do this for the winter but what a glorious day to be doing this. <laughs> yeah I hear what you're saying rather you than me Richard. Anyway I'm gonna take that plunge guys. Woo, this is cold. Well, here goes. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful out here. Cold, but uh, very refreshing. I certainly know that uh, that I'm uh, <laughs> I'm definitely alive. Anyway, I'm going to head in and uh, get the uh, get the old towel around me, the old dry robe. Very blessed to be living in such a beautiful part of the world as well. Anyway. Oh yes. Woo! <laughs> beautiful. <sighs> Gonna get myself dried up guys. I have to say these uh, these dry robes, wow, they are great. <laughs> get changed on the beach and uh, Nobody's going to see those parts that you don't anybody want to see. But uh, in my case, I don't think that I have any concerns in that regard today because, well, there ain't nobody here. I've got the whole place to myself. So don't even need a dry robe. Anyway, we're going to head back up to the car and uh, make our way back to Hoogdorard and, and probably uh, out to the office and edit some of this video and put it together and, and see how it turned out. So listen guys, thanks for, for joining me today out at this glorious uh, beach and out here by the wild Atlantic Ocean. I'll see you again soon. Mind yourselves, look after one another. Bye for now. <laughs>